So Qubits launched four years ago this month, um, but it was probably before that another five years in the making, I guess. Um, so it originally, this, I guess the seed was originally planted when I first started wearing glasses when I was quite young um, and wore spectacles, yeah, all through my teenage years and my 20s. Um, and for me, they were always, I always had a kind of, I just loved wearing them, right? They were a sort of thing for me. Um, I had a sort of emotional relationship with my spectacles. Um, and so I, in, while I was doing through various corporate jobs in the background, there was always this kind of wish, dream, desire to um, design, make, produce, sell spectacles. Um, and a couple of things happened along that kind of journey. One of them was a meeting with a chap called Lawrence Jenkin, who um, is a kind of master spectacle maker. He's one of the kind of last. So he's been making spectacles for 50 years or so. He used to run a company called Anglo American. And he took me and one other person on as a, an apprentice, sort of the first spectacle making apprentices in generations. Um, and that kind of allowed me to really understand kind of materials and design and the relationship between someone's face and how a frame sits on them and optical measurements. Um, and that kind of gave us the kind of uh, confidence really to launch and grow qubits. Um, so we started online. Um, and as the, uh, then after a year of being an online business, it opened our first bricks and mortar store, um, which was brilliant and it allowed us to open more bricks and mortar stores. So now we're here four years later with um, five sites and 40 people. Um, I think the most important thing about running um, my own business is uh, enjoying it, I think. Um, trying to create uh, an environment and um, where you, yeah, you're happy, you want to go there, right? Because, you know, it's stressful and it can be lonely and it's extremely hard work and it's completely all encompassing, right? None of which are great. So um, you need to kind of counteract that with making, um, uh, doing something in a kind of industry and a product and an environment that, yeah, makes you feel good, really. Um, I mean, wealth is a really kind of strange, slippery concept, right? I mean, I, you know, I'm incredibly wealthy being a white, educated, nail-born in a Western European democracy, right? You know, just having that, like, ability is incredibly powerful. And so above that, it's, you know, wealth in, you know, you can't really, I don't really think about it in monetary terms. It's about, um, you know, again, going back to that, the, the point about the finite nature of human life. It's about um, being able to enjoy, yeah, in, enjoy the scarce thing, which is your time, right? And that can be about having flexibility about what you're doing. It can be doing um, stuff you enjoy. It can be working with people that you like. Um, it can be, you know, having, I don't know, lines on a Saturday or going for, you know, it's, it's, it's much more linked, I think, to um, uh, experience and behavior than it is about any kind of financial asset. Um, so to live a good life, I think you need uh, a purpose. Um, I just think you need something uh, that you've got to have like a meaning, really, um, because uh, the one great leveler for all humans is we're all going to be dead at some point between, and I guess for me it's going to be between zero and 50 years. So it's how I can fill that finite period of time with stuff that makes me feel um, pride, accomplishment, um, you know, gives me little serotonin and endorphin releases every so often. Um, and I think, you know, you can constantly little chase those little serotonin releases, but unless you've got a kind of overall uh, purpose, it's, you know, very difficult to know if you're going in the right direction or not. I mean, I'd say Having lived in the same home for nearly 15 years, the longest I've ever lived anywhere, for me, a home is about uh, familiarity and comfort. And like in a world, especially if you're you know, starting a business and you're literally leaping into the unknown, every day is filled with uncertainty and decision-making. And however confident you are, you're always worried about the decision you're making. There's something innate about human beings in that we, you know, we just worry that we're... You know, it's probably some evolutionary reason for it, right? That we just want to protect our lives and our families and our food supply and whatever it may be, right? So the world is kind of scary. 
having um, a home that you know and feel comfortable in you know where just things like you know where to put your keys you know where you know how many jars of mango chutney you've got in the fridge you you know every little corner of that place gives you um uh, yeah, an amazing kind of shelter and respite away from all of the scary uncertainty of the outside world.